At our 2023 AGM, a motion on championing people power and our co-op difference was put to our member owners for the vote. To do this, co-op was asked to develop new and innovative ways to communicate our difference and unique member ownership model. A broader range of opportunities to make membership meaningful and invite co-op member owners to participate in the decisions we make was also called for. The motion was carried by members with 98.05% in favour. Hello everyone, I'm Debbie Williams and I represent the South East on Co-op's National Members Council. I'm also honoured to be the first Co-op colleague to hold the role of Vice President for Cooperative Performance, Democratic Processes and Member Voice. I'm joined by one of our board members, Margaret Casey Hayford, who was elected by you, our member owners, as a member nominated director. Our board recommended our people power and co-op difference motion because it is passionate about our unique member ownership model being the thing that sets us apart and wants to see our business bring it to life and champion it in everything it does. We also have Mark Robinson Field and Nick Marr joining us from our member participation and insight teams to proudly talk through all the fantastic work they've been doing to demonstrate our difference and provide meaningful ways for our member owners to get involved and have a say. Margaret, I'll come to you first as a voice of, for our member owners at the highest level of our co-op. Do we have any updates on celebrating our co-op difference through our marketing and communication strategies and using the co-op app to deliver new digital ways to participate? Thank you, Debbie. Throughout 2023, co-op member owners input into our new vision, our strategy and our membership offer through join in, insight panels and member owner events to help us put them at the heart of everything we do. Later this year, keep an eye out for the new start of a new cooperative era when we reintroduce co-op to the nation and to a whole new generation with a clear and proud focus on the things that make us different. This motion called for this and I'd like to say a big thank you to our member owners for continuing to challenge and inspire us. Council members and member owners have been suggesting for as long as we've had an app that we should look into the possibility of voting in our AGM and in our elections on it. It was called for as part of this motion and I'm delighted to be able to give you an exclusive today. For the first time voting will be possible through the co-op app for our 2024 AGM and elections. If you're eligible, you'll see more information from the 15th of April. Amazing. Thanks so much, Margaret. Your updates are a real demonstration of member ownership in action and how we can make change happen together. Mark, alongside exploring new and more connected ways to make membership meaningful, you've been continuing to champion participating in the co-op you own through our brilliant join-in platform. I believe congratulations are in order as you reached a major milestone in 2023. Can you tell us more about how you did this, please? Yes, thanks, Debbie. 2023 was a big year for us. Um, for the first time, our member owners completed over one million actions in just one year. Um, it's a significant achievement and a huge support for our shared vision. And what's perhaps more significant is the amount of time members dedicated to those actions. If we combine all the time given by members in this past year for joining actions, it comes to almost 128,000 hours, the equivalent of us having 23 full-time colleagues. It's an incredible testament to our members that they show so much commitment to their co-op. Uh, over the year, we created 80 opportunities for members to play their part, and we ensure that all of those opportunities are authentic ways for members to shape and influence their co-op. We call it everyday participation and the opportunities fall within four broad themes. Number one, developing our products and services. Number two, engaging with our community programme. Number three, taking part in one of our campaigns. And number four, participating in their unique co-op. Now these opportunities may be about learning more. It might be about choosing what you'd like to support, helping us to shape our products or community programmes, uh, taking part in our campaigns or other activations. Overall, this year, we've seen a 27% increase in member participation through join-in from 2022. You touched on member owners learning more about co-op and participating in what makes us unique. Please, could you expand on this? Uh, yes, of course. An important part of our work is to help members to understand their unique co-op, helping them to explore the key elements of their co-op and the role they can play in our shared success. 
A focus of the past year has been on helping our member owners understand the impact they have through that unique democracy. You may have seen some of our blogs or joined in with one of our quick quizzes, both designed to showcase the impact your vote had from the 2023 AGM. We're continuing the work this year. Yeah, you can join one of our motions discussions before you vote. At these meetups, we'll debate the themes of the motions with the people who proposed and helped draft them. So you can learn more about Corp's stance and speak to others as you explore the vote before you cast it. As well as understanding the impact of our voting, members also asked us to help them find their way through the voting process. This year, you'll see much more support through our regular monthly emails and a new video to take you step by step through the process so you don't miss the opportunity to have your say. That's brilliant. Thanks so much, Mark. My vice president role covers what you do and seeing how you've brought education for our members to life has been inspiring. And I've really enjoyed hearing more about what's to come and helping to shape it. Nick, our co-op collective is a relatively new concept, and I don't think that a lot of people know about the great work happening to involve members and customers in our decision making through insight and research. What have your teams been up to in 2023, please? OK, thanks, Debbie. So we've been up to loads across the analytics and insight team to better understand our members and customers and ultimately how we meet their needs. One of our key tools that you touched on is the Co-op Collective. Um, what is this, you may ask? Well, it's it's essentially a, a research panel. So our Co-op Collective is made up of nearly 11,000 members and customers from around the UK. It's uh, across a range of demographics and backgrounds to help us provide as broad a view as possible when we're carrying out our research. In 2023, we ran over 78,000 activities, which we completed. They kind of covered over 200 individual projects and we do different things. So sometimes it's, it's a survey that we ask people to fill in. Sometimes it's more of a focus group style discussion. And also we, we give people tasks. So they go into store and try and complete tasks for us as well that are relevant to the business that, um, that we're trying to cover. Over the last 12 months, we've supported our co-op decision making processes in lots of meaningful ways. Um, but I'd like to shine a light on some that I'm particularly proud of and that I think have hopefully made a real difference. First, it's um, it's been a real priority for the co-op and for our council also to support communities with the rising cost of living. So we have spent a lot of time making sure we can understand the pressures that members, customers and their communities are facing in what has been a really difficult time. We've run a series of check ins, um, a series of focus groups and surveys, and we fed the comments and the findings on that back to the businesses as they planned on how they address this through through pricing, amongst other things. Second thing that we've done is that we support our businesses with opportunities for member owners and customers to help make decisions and, sh and shape new work. So when we come up with new ideas and new services, um, we've carried out a range of studies in 2023 to understand what matters to, to our members and customers and brought their views to the table for all sorts of decisions on a host of really diverse projects. So that can range from bakery products in our convenience stores, um, the packaging for our amazing new irresistible pizzas, uh, flowers in funeral care and jargon busting for our insurance business, just to name a few. Um, the final area that I wanted to talk about was um, supporting our food business. We've been refreshing our own brand strategy. We know that availability and competitive pricing on essentials and favourites is really important to our members and customers. So we've been doing some deep dive work into how shoppers perceive our own brand um, ranges and those of other convenience retailers to help inform what we do. Nick, that all sounds fantastic. I'm looking forward to hearing about how member owners continue to get involved in decision making in 2024. Mark, we've clearly been making a lot of great progress in the digital space, but how do we engage with those member owners who aren't online and make sure that they can have a say too and that their accessibility needs are taken into account? Our member pioneers are there to support our members in their communities and we've been exploring how they help deliver member participation locally. For example, 2023 saw our member pioneers organising member hours in stores, giving members everything they need to make the most of their membership. Our joining live locals are events held in stores and in community venues on themes around our membership, ethics and community activities. As an example, look out next month as the teams will be running events focusing on 30 years of our responsible retailing report and asking members to help shape our future focus and activities. The team are also trialling some changes to our local forums. 
we're working with members in Sheffield, Elton, Ash and Leyburn to understand how we can bring members together to connect and engage with their co-op on a regular basis. So look out for more later this year. Fantastic. Thanks all. It's been great hearing from you on how we're harnessing people power to bring our co-op difference to life. There's so much to say and celebrate, and I'm looking forward to it being front and centre when we enter a new cooperative era later this year. And thank you to all our member owners for tuning in and being part of our co-op.